there could be life-saving inventions inside this university. Corporate labs have gone away and now the onus is on universities to provide innovation in this country. My name is Jay Schrankler and I'm the Executive Director of the Office for Technology Commercialization. The idea is that we get inventions from our faculty and researchers and ones that we think are commercially viable, we patent them, we work with the faculty on either licensing them or we create startup companies out of the university. Medtronic is the first spin-out from the University of Minnesota. I'm Chuck Dennis. I'm the Vice President of the Innovation Portfolio and Intellectual Property. Visible Heart Lab, it's actually a little spooky to be honest. You go in and there is this setup and in the middle of the setup there's a beating heart. Professors at the university have figured out how to keep that heart alive with clear fluid running through it instead of blood. We can actually see what's happening there while the heart is still beating. I'm Joy Lindsay, president and co-founder of StarTech Investments, and we invest in early stage technology companies based in Minnesota. We look for intellectual property, some unique technology that's really a breakthrough technology. CAST is a platform that was developed at the University of Minnesota and it was developed to help them transfer unused IP. The nice thing about looking at technology from the University of Minnesota is that you've got research behind it, you've got experts behind it, it is proven. It sounded like pure science fiction to me. I'm Rob Cohen, I'm President and CEO of Neuromatrix Medical. The core invention is a new way to take all the cells out of an existing organ and then rebuild that organ by putting cells on it that are the cells you want on it. When all is said and done is the ability to take any organ in your body and give you a new one that your body recognizes as its own. They were looking for someone to spin this technology out of the university and that fairly quickly led to moving forward with Merrill Matrix. The best thing that the OTC has to offer is folks who have experience in business, who understand how business works in what otherwise is not intended to be a business environment, which is a university. I would say that OTC is going to operate at the very highest levels of professionalism. Set your expectations as comparable to what you would see at Stanford, MIT. If you haven't had a chance to work with us in the last five years, then you really don't know who we are. We do startup workshops for our faculty, technology showcases for the community. A wonderful technology is completely useless if it doesn't get commercialized. A wonderful commercial enterprise is entirely useless if it has nothing to develop. Everyone has to get along and the OTC serves as that intermediary to try to make sure it happens. So bring your creativity and match it with theirs and amazing things will happen at the end of the day.